big bounce back. He didn't even qualify for the final at the Olympics last summer, 2021, and now here he is, the World Championship bronze medalist. They were not set all the way. Call him back up. Costa, when he went 3.43.3, that put him as the fourth fastest swimmer of the year this year with that bronze medal. And for him, you mentioned disappointment in other events. Always special when you win your first world medal like he mm. did being on the podium in Budapest in that third position with bronze. Yeah, his, uh, his teammate Bruno Fratus, who won bronze in the Olympic Games last summer, kind of the same feeling. First major medal like that. He's won a bunch of medals, obviously, but first Olympic medal and uh, same sort of feeling. Two biggest meets for a swimmer in their lives are obviously the Olympic Games and, of course, the World Championships. This, this event, excuse me, Jason, this event is actually the one event that has the longest drought for the United States, for, for the Olympic Games. You have to go way back almost 40 years. 1984, George DiCarlo was the last American to win gold in this event, the 400 freestyle. So huge drought for the US. Of course, Kieran Smith picked up the bronze in 2021. But uh, no U.S. swimmers in the top 10 performers in history. And even having said all that, no swimmers, no U.S. swimmers in the top 10 this year, they still have had the most success in this event over history. I mean, they've won nine Olympic gold medals in this event. Australia is a distance second at six. And that's even with a 40 year run. Last Aussie to win it, the most recent, Elijah Winnington taking, or should say at least the world title this past summer. Again, Hafnawi of Tunisia, that wild upset win from Tokyo. Right now, Costa coasting at this point with Mestri trying to give chase there in lane number seven. Those two were one, two in the 800 free already here in Greensboro. But this was really never and it's not going to be in any doubt, I don't think, because Costa came in with by far the best time. I mean, Zane Grothy is next at 3.44, four, so he's about a second behind, but hasn't been quite the swimmer that he was earlier on in his career. And Costa's just, well, he's cruising right now easily. Out 152 flat at the 200, a couple 58 pluses there. Still keeping a nice tempo right now for the 24-year-old from Brazil. Now the 18-year-old alongside Ronnie and Steverink, interesting, his mom Brazilian, his father Dutch, so the option to swim for either country does represent Brazil, but a, another encouraging young performer in this group, but he's trying to catch up to the top three right now. He is in fourth right now in lane five, but Costa is still holding strong. Good race there in lane six and seven between two swimmers swimming down there in Gainesville. Right there, Mitchell and Mestre. A practice battle for yeah. the leaders right now, but nobody going to catch Costa as he rockets to his second win here in Greensboro this week. Good race there, Mestre out touching Mitchell by two hundredths of a second for the runner up spot, but Guillermo Costa of Brazil the champion here in the 400 free. Yeah, I saw him shake his head right after that race, was not happy with the time necessarily. But again, when you have such great competition, every time you swim a race, you learn something. And here's the halfway point. So he's 152 flat back in 156 plus. You know, that's that's not a bad swim. Really doing it all by yourself pretty much the entire way. Mestre and Mitchell made it interesting a little bit at the end, but 
You know, they're still about a second and a half behind Costa at the end. Just a very solid swimmer, keeps that head down. I love how he keeps it in line, still driving things forward. Just really nice line as he finishes strong. Go 348. Well, the man from Brazil, world bronze this summer, and now gold here, winning the title at the 2022 Toyota U.S. Open. Mestre winning a great duel with his Florida Gator teammate for the second spot. Zane Grothy rounding out the top four.